something old is rising again, like an old dream, so good, so powerful that it can't be forgotten. When it stops, there is a tone in the air. To find where the tone is coming from, one must take a perilous journey up a cramped and hidden ladder. At the top of the ladder, way up high, in a small cramped room where hardly anyone ever goes, back behind giant cylinders, pipes, a man stands atop another ladder. The man is Phil Hargis. He is tuning the pipes, which have been there for a hundred years, to make sure the tones they make are pure. I get to do something I'm passionate about for people who appreciate what I'm doing. I can pretty much set my own hours, and my office is a movie palace. The cramped room and the pipes are disguised by this exquisite wall, which acts as an enormous speaker. The walls here talk. The cover is removed to reveal a time machine, an instrument like no other, a 100-year-old mighty Wurlitzer organ in all its ornamental glory. Seattle's Paramount Theater opened in 1928, back when we built beautiful things just for the sake of building beautiful things. From this factory in Tonawanda, New York, the Wurlitzer Publix One model was shipped out so it could be installed in Seattle before the grand opening. The sound-producing mechanisms were installed in five different chambers in the building. We know what it sounded like that opening night because it sounds exactly the same way today. The Wurlitzer is played four times a year on silent movie Mondays. On this night, Tyler Pattison would be in the cockpit. Uh, the bass is very deep, and when you, know, when you hear those, those powerful notes and those large chords and those ensembles, that just really, um, it can really move you. I mean, you can literally feel the music. The, the theater vibrates with the sound. The big reward is getting to hear that organ in that room. There's nothing else like it. It's true, the instrument shakes you to the core. You can't tell right now because the speakers you're hearing this story on can't possibly convert what it is the Wurlitzer sends out into the world, the organic majesty of it. The sound envelops you. The pipes reach down and vibrate your very soul. Good vibrations, excitations. In the old days when organists accompanied silent movies, there were no scores, no written music. Brilliant artists like Tyler watched and created at the same time, reacting to the movie, creating on the fly. The organists of the day were expected to be proficient improvisers. And that's still something that I carry on today. Most of what I will be playing tonight will be different than the rehearsal. It'll be different for every show. It's unique. I'm listening to the audience. I'm watching the film to improvise something that is suitable. Mm -hmm. If I throw out a word, can you play a oh, mood? That, that's what we do. Yeah, absolutely. What kind of a mood are you in? Uh, fear. <laughs> Tender, tender love. Sheer happiness. <laughs> Rehearses the day of the show, an old Harold Lloyd classic called Safety Last. He becomes familiar with the film. The night of the show, the Paramount is lit up, and the people show up, hundreds of them, to feel something new by watching something old. Tyler is in his place. There is anticipation. And then it begins. Thank you. 
For the next 70 minutes, Tyler Patterson collaborates with creators from another time to make something wonderful. He's a speck of light in a spectacular theater, at one with the time machine, the mighty Wurlitzer, an old girl who comes to life a few times a year on silent movie Mondays, when we are reminded of what it felt like to be alive a century ago.